Hey guys, John P with DPTV, continuing our live coverage here from CES 2013. You know, Callie and I have been telling you guys about the Braven speaker line for a long time, but they have updates, and we're going to take a look. Okay, you know, every year when we come to CES, there's certain things we're looking forward to, and I have to admit, I have been looking forward to coming to see you guys at Braven. Guys, this is Tracy. We're going to get an update. You have a lot of new stuff coming out, and uh, I want to hear about all of it. We've got a lot of big stuff coming this year. Braven has a great line as it is with our six series. We've got so much fun stuff going in audio. But this year, we've got three big products that we're announcing at CES right now that are huge. One of them is literally big compared to your other speakers, too. One of them is big. It's the 850. It's four times the size of our other speakers and four times the sound. The thing is monstrous. It pumps out so much sound, and it's clear and beautiful. Awesome. Okay, wait. Before we get into the updates, there are some of you probably still haven't heard about it, so let me just give you some of the basics, okay? Um, this is a little portable Bluetooth speaker. The, some of the unique features are they have huge batteries in them and they even give you access via a USB port to like recharge your phone off of your speaker. It's ridiculous and awesome. Also, they have a lot more power than competitive models and I really love this one. Look, at, look right here. That is a, an output port for a, it's a 3.5 3 millimeter cable, right? Mm -hmm. That means I could pair up with one of these and then I could daisy chain them and we could have like 10 of them and have like a block party with these things. Exactly. So that's the basics. Now we've seen these before. Callie and I actually carry, each of us carry one in our backpack at all times. Oh, because they're a speaker phone. So when we travel, we use it as a speaker phone and uh, we use it to listen to music and all the other stuff. Now, we got that out of the way. Good. There's new stuff that you did not have before, so what, what else shall we talk about? So what you're holding here is the 570. It's just like our 6 Series, and you know, we have the 625, we have the 650, and the anodized aluminum. This one comes with a plastic case, has half the battery life to it, you still get 10 hours of playtime, but this baby retails at 119, which makes it really comfortable wow. for a lot of people. That's a big deal because I think the other ones were around 180-ish, right? Yeah. Roughly. Yeah, we're 170 to 190 for the 650s. So that makes it easier for a lot of people who want to enter the this space at a little bit more comfortable budget price. Right, right. That's great. I, I like that because a lot of people have, have requested that in the past. Now, does that one still have the same speaker design? I think these others have like a passive radiator in them and their stereo and all this stuff, right? Yep. If you look at them, they are the exact same speaker, really. The it's only just less battery. Less battery and a different case. Okay. Same sound, same features. Okay, awesome. And then also, now this one, because we didn't touch on it, this is just kind of a slightly more ruggedized version, right? Right. So this is essentially in the 6 series, this is something that you can drop and toss around and it takes a beating so you can take it a little bit more rugged places. But I probably wouldn't want to take that one to the pool with me. No, it's not waterproof. It's just for dropping it. It's a little tougher. What should I take to the pool with me? Well, funny you should ask. <laughs> this is our brand new BRV1, beautiful outdoor rugged speaker. It's designed for the outdoors. Now it's rated IPX5 waterproof, which means it can take whatever spray you want to throw at it. Now, it's not rated for submersion, which is okay because most people don't listen to music underwater, you know, but this will take the water. It can get rained on. If you drop it, it floats. Bring it out. It floats? It floats. So it still, it still keeps playing. So it's okay. good to take on a boat. Maybe, uh, maybe you wouldn't lose it if it goes overboard. It's safe to take on a boat, poolside, take it up by the lake, whatever it is. It's also possible to take it in the snow. Plays well in the cold. So I noticed there are buttons on the uh, outside right here. We got play and power, and they're just kind of all sealed and everything, right? right. But how do I recharge it and whatnot? What, what can I do there? So like you said, the buttons are all over molded, so they're sealed. But right here in the back, where everybody thinks is the canteen, yeah. you got your ports. So in the center, you can charge your phone, you got an in, so you can put it to the end of a daisy chain, and then you can power it up from your wall speakers. And also, shows you how much battery life you got. Very nice. Now, how does the battery life on this compare to some of the others? BRV1 goes for 12 hours. 
Okay. And can still charge your device from it. How loud is this one compared to the others? These are like six watts, right? So how about this one? Still six watts, and in fact, we had a nice little surprise in development. This is actually slightly better sound than our already amazing speakers because it has a little deeper sound cabinet to it, a little bit larger subwoofer surface. It actually sounds slightly better than our already fantastic speakers. That's awesome, okay. What's the, price, uh, what's the availability going to be and what's the price point going to be for them? These start shipping in February. It's going to be 169 That's a good deal, especially if you need something kind of ruggedized. Now, uh, you have the big, the big new speaker, and I think it's got something very unique that I've been wondering about, and I'm hoping you can explain to me. I heard that somehow I could not only just get one of them, but I could get, a, I could somehow pair them up or something. Right. So in our standard speakers, you can daisy chain them by using a cord mm -hmm. in between the ins and outs, in, in and out ports. The 850, we stepped it up a notch where you can daisy chain them wirelessly. So you can have two sitting there without the cord in between. Okay, how, how do you do that? I mean, I'm going to connect to this one with my Bluetooth phone, right? Wow, this thing is heavy, folks. It is solid. This is like a brick. Um, this must have a nice battery in it. Um, I have to connect to it with Bluetooth, right? Right. So you still connect with your device through Bluetooth, and then they will connect to each other through wireless daisy chaining. With 900 megahertz, or what? How? What? What kind of wireless does it use to connect? It's actually magic. Oh, okay. Good, good. That's fine. How many of them can we uh, daisy chain together? You can get two of them together. Okay, two. And and then you can treat them like a pair, like left and right, or are they just identical, like uh, the same sound coming out of both. I think they're identical coming out of both. Okay. What kind of battery does this thing have in it? We have 10 hours of playtime. Wow. Coming out of your 850. And I still have the USB port so I can charge other things with it. Yep. And it still has the uh, 3.5 millimeter input jack or output jack. Is that an output jack that I can use? It's an in. Oh, it's so an in on this one. You can connect from your device with a wire if you want to. But here's the thing. This charges devices including tablets. Oh. So this has like two, two amp output basically. So I could do an iP iPad or tab or whatever. Exactly. Very cool. And these, I, what's the price going to be and availability? Two ninety nine, available in June. All right, June. We've got to wait half a year. Oh, that sucks. Okay, guys. Well, those are the updates from Braven. So stay tuned for more coverage here from CES. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash geekbeatv. Thumbs up, baby. See you later. Uh, all right. This thing. So it's really waterproof. No, it's really water. It's IPX five waterproof. In fact. It's not, it's not designed for submersion. But yeah, yeah. Most people don't but if I get water on it or something, it's not a big deal? So watch. Whoa! This is a factory would not recommend this. What are you we doing? Don't recommend it either. Filling it up with water? But watch this. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. In other words, if it rains, it's going to take it. All right. All right, it works.